This year marks the 70th anniversary of Korea's liberation from Japanese colonial rule to remember the efforts made to win back the country's sovereignty. Two musicians are reenacting a traditional song close to the hearts of Koreans. Our cultural correspondent Kim ji has this report. This traditional Korean folk song called Mongumpo Taryong expresses the hopes and dreams of lovers who await to be reunited. It's being sung at the very palace where it was originally performed for Korea's Emperor Kim Kojong during the late 19th century. We decided to play Mongumpo Taryong because it's one of the most representative traditional folk songs beloved by Koreans. It's an honor to be able to play this song in this palace. I feel a sense of pride and I'm touched to be in a place that symbolizes modern Korean history. The Toksugung Sokjojon Palace stands out from other historical structures in Korea. Kim Kojong commissioned British engineer John Harding to build his empire's first Western-style building with elements of neoclassical architecture in mind. After it was completed in 1910, the king often escaped there to stay grounded in times of emotional hardship and crisis. With the death of his queen, King Kojong returned to this Toksugung Sokjojong Palace with a plan to establish a new political system to secure national sovereignty from rising foreign imperialistic powers. As part of efforts to reinvent the country and secure sovereignty against Japanese colonization in the early 1900s, Kim Kojong renamed his empire Tehan. And to this day, the country is commonly referred to as Tehan Mingu in Korean. To mark the 70th anniversary of the country's liberation from Japanese colonization, songs representing Korea's past and present will be performed every last Wednesday each month until August. Kim Jong. Arirang News.